Hello everyone, in this video I figured I would go over the workflow I used in making the triangular pillow. You'll see on Collab's uh, upcoming lighting tutorial. So first thing I'll do is delete all avatars. Um, I'll assume everyone is aware of what Marvelous Designer is. Go ahead and choose rectangle, we'll click. Um, I'll press X, right click, do a uniform split. Um, let's see. Let's try it again. Split, uniform split. And then we'll select this point and this point and delete it. We will select our plane here and just position that over the center. Press spacebar. It's laying on the ground. So from here, um, we'll locate the smooth curve. Right click, um, let's type in 30. Uh, let's type in 60. Right click, 60. Right click, 60. <coughs> All right, so we have our first pad set up. Now before I go on to the next step, we'll just add some internal lines just so we have some interesting happening here. And you'll see what this is for in just a moment. Now if you're interested in Game Marvelous Designer and you find that the sticker price is a little high, um, you know, I was able to find a key for the previous version through a reseller on Steam who was just selling his license. So I do recommend uh, checking into something like that or, you know, the website Kingwin also would be able to uh, be a good resource for that. So we'll put an internal line right there. And so now we'll just go through, select all of our lines here and we'll press control C and then control R to paste reverse and we'll just drop our lines down and it's looking good so there's our first piece and you know just to um, give a shout out to my homie Tony I will put a shape me and him were discussing yesterday in here so we will right click set this to 20 right click 20 right click 20 all right so now I'm pressing Z which will go back to selection we'll just uh, actually control C control R let's not forget that all right and we will convert to hold. Very good. And convert to hold. And just to uh, make it a little more cool, we will uh, offset its internal line on these two at five. It'll be fine. And that'll uh, work out great. So with this piece selected, um, and also, you know, the reason I'm pretty fast at this is um, I've been doing a lot of these. Um, just in general, I'm a layer clone over, and we're just going to lay it on top and right click and flip normal. And just for sanity's sake, I'm going to select this and press uh, Control K, which will freeze it. So the bottom layer is frozen. We put our top layer down, and now we have our pillow. Um, I'll give this uh, 110 on the weft and the warp just to put a little exponent in that claw. Um, I'll click on the fabric and we'll change the preset to lightweight nylon that'll make it look better and let's uh, put a little pressure in it so once you put the pressure you'll notice it'll uh, start to bulge uh, we'll change, lower the sim amount to 5 that way we can get some uh, nicer wrinkles going on here now whenever it comes to the cloth um, your particle distance is your subdivision level basically so if I jump this up to 30 very simple if I jump this down to two, 
way hard of a jump, by the way. Um, usually for something like this, you would want to actually take it down a little more gradual, but I make this computer hurt on a daily. So with that, we have our cloth piece made. However, I want to give it a little bit more pressure just to put some bulge in it. You know, I want my pad to have some potential. So, if I close this library, don't need it. And voila, so that's just six minutes and I have made this pad. So let me go ahead and pause this and we'll select both parts. Um, export OBJ and we'll just call this a uh, pillow demo 1A and uh, I'll copy this folder, folder path because I don't like looking for folders the second time and we'll just export it as uh, whatever and now we'll jump over to Blender so in Blender I'm just gonna show just the basics of how I would uh, deal with this so let me reveal my UI we'll delete this cube and we'll import OBJ which I actually have mapped to a hotkey but you know, I'll spare y'all and it's only a 9 meg OBJ you might notice some in here that are up to 90 those are those pads that are way high definition and usually I do a little modification to them before adding them to the scene or keep the viewport fluid but in this case um, what is going on with my computer what's going on with my mouse there we go using hard ops I'll just uh, put a quick material on this maybe mess with the uh, specular mount lower it down you know, get something a little patty. Um, I'm going to take this and duplicate it, move it to layer two. And so from here, um, I'm just actually going to select this object and press Alt Shift X. So if you're using hard ops, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. So a little mirror bisect, except it did not go through exactly the way it was supposed to. So let's undo that. We want to keep our tip so the easiest way to do that would be to uh, put our origin here and press alt shift x and find somewhere else farther down we'll just put our cursor there so with that done we'll duplicate this rotate it 90 remove the mirror modifier and position it just right we will join them together so now we have this asset that we can array, you know, within modifier array, and we want to merge slash two. We want to divide it down by two, maybe divide it by two again, maybe divide it by two one more time, and basically dividing it by two just um, is a easier way for me to go through to prefs than to um, manually deal with it um, via dragging since it allows me to precisely um, get to higher values while also allowing me to precisely decrement and increase values so I arrayed it out a bit I'll drop a circle and this is a curve circle by the way I'll select the shape we imported the curve control P curved form and what we'll do is select this piece alt P to clear parent and keep transformation why did I do this because now I can scale the curve and the shape will remain the same size independent mm. so let's scale this in I'm sure I could have used Radial Twist 360 actually to get this to go perfect. But a curve is also 
fun to play with. Stop. There we go. All right, and no one will notice. So, to further deal with a shape like this, we can tap in edit mode of the curve, which can allow us to deform this however we please. But that's not how we want to deform it in our case. What I want to do is select everything and press Control T. Ever so slowly, all because I simmed it at two. Whenever you try those numbers on your side, you will find that your computer also will become highly unresponsive. I mean, right now in the view, we're rocking uh, 1.6 million faces. However, if we just put a And also I see work awaits once again, so back to work with me. But I did want to just drop this quick video. Otherwise, I'll just see comments everywhere of people asking, how did you make those pads? So with that, we'll wrap this video up. Um, I do plan to come back and actually do a full video talking about hard ops and modeling stuff, but this is just some side stuff I've been messing with. So with that, we'll go ahead and wrap this video. In closing, the sleep pod itself is on blend swap in case you want to download it. Also, I do want to give a shout out to Collab for um, making the tutorial out of my object, you know, casting it in a whole different light. I mean, seeing it for myself, you know, I learned a whole lot, even seeing him uh, mess with my own asset. So I definitely recommend it for everyone. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.